And remember, tell him about the tell him about the one where Bernie was going to shoot somebody. Oh, that was yes. Yeah, say that. <laughs> tell him. Tell tell so him this. You know how comedy is, Godfrey, in Chicago. Yes. You picked the wrong. We was doing comedy shows anywhere. <sighs> so Bernie Mac calls me and says, "We got to do a club on 87th and Stony, right off of Stony Island, called The Godfather." Right. This is the South so Side we- of Chicago. South side of Chicago. So we would smash over to the Godfather, go up in there, and it ain't nothing but gangsters. Right. Nothing but gangsters yes. in the audience. Yes. There. yes. So I walk in, I'm like, I don't know if this is a good comedy setting. <laughs> you right. feel me? Because you know, sometimes it just don't feel right. Right, right. It didn't feel right. Man. Right. So Bernie, Bernie still got to get his little money. He went on stage. He was like, I'm going up. I'm going to perform. Bernie got on stage and literally they just kept talking shit in the middle of his show. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You ain't funny. Get your ass off the stage, cuz. I was like, oh, shit. So I'm thinking now me and Bernie about to have to fight our way out of this joint, right? Right. And so Bernie, Bernie said one thing and then the dude got up out his seat and came to the stage and snatched the mic out of Bernie Mac. Fuck. Hand. Now, you know Bernie was a big dude. Bernie he was like a big six guy. He's about 6'4". Six six like, yep, 6'3", yeah. Three, yeah, yeah that, that height and heavy and from the hood. He was from Inglewood. So yep. Bernie, by no means, was no punk. So I'm like, Bernie getting ready to sock this dude. We about to get jumped on and get our <laughs> ass kicked. We right. severely outnumbered, right? <laughs> So, so, so Bernie looked and the dude snatched the mic and then uh, he said, nigga, you ain't funny. Nigga, your mama, how funny is that? Nigga, get your big heads off the stage, right? <laughs> Bernie looked, I'm thinking, ah, shit, I'm getting ready to, I'm looking at what I'm going to grab to, you know, <laughs> a chair, hit a drum up with. And Bernie looked and said, man, y'all don't want no comedy. Come on, Lonnie, let's go. So he he got he walked off stage and he I followed him out the club and we was walking to the car. Bernie was heated. I ain't never seen him this heated. He went to the car, opened the door, got in, reached down under the fucking mat, pulled out his his, his gun. <laughs> He's like, I'm popping the first motherfucker that come out the club. I'm telling you, home. I'm like, Matt, you can't pop these motherfuckers. You will never. Get away with this. <laughs> they know you just walked out of the club. We didn't get arrested. If you yeah. don't get arrested, them motherfuckers gonna kill us. We on yeah. they side of town. Yes. What the fuck are you doing? Like, I'm talking to Mac. Mac ain't even listening. He's zoned yeah. out. And he literally, now we in the car, and he's circling the, the fucking block, waiting yeah. on any of them niggas to walk out. And he got his gun, and I'm trying to talk him out of it. Mac, come on, man, don't do this. He ain't saying nothing. And you know we ain't never seen Bernie quiet. This right. the first time I saw him quiet. And he we riding around and, I, and then I said, Mac, what about Boots? What about Janice, man? What about Rhonda? And he stopped. He's talking about his wife and, and daughter. Yeah, and daughter. And he stopped. And he just put his head down and looked around. And then he said, let's go. And he drove off. And I was so happy. Ber- I was so happy. Bernie was going to, it wouldn't have been, yeah. You, 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 you literally it. changed his life. Fuck what you heard. You literally yeah. guided Bernie to the right path. You did. Fuck yeah. the bullshit. You're the one that did this. You're the really? one. That's why I wanted you people to know this. You're the one was the creation of Bernie Mac, man. Yeah.